Hello and welcome back to Almis Market Mornings, uh, your daily dose of financial updates with your host Shikhar Gar. Now, the wild ride for financial markets continues with uh, Hang Seng dropping significantly. Uh, China reporting the uh, return of COVID with I don't know which number of its wave. Uh, LME introducing uh, limits on the percentage move for commodities. Oil coming down. There's a lot of things happening. So I have now with us uh, Pankaj. Pankaj, please brief us what's exactly going on in the financial markets. Uh, thanks, Sikha. Uh, so today morning uh, we are seeing uh, some price impact happening on a crude oil, which continued from last evening. So there is basically a theme which is taking place as uh, industrial town Sanjian is being closed down. China zero tolerance policy on uh, sorry <coughs> on uh, COVID cases. And uh, the continuous fall in the Chinese and Hong Kong stocks are further uh, exaggerating moves on that side. Otherwise, global markets have been relatively calmer yesterday. Uh, we are seeing now Nasdaq also entering into a bear market territory as the financial conditions are getting tightened, and the sector has been outperformed for last two years due to easy monetary conditions. But the relative calmness and perhaps some optimism on P stocks on Ukraine was also reflected in broader markets remaining steady. Uh, with European markets outperforming others. I had already mentioned uh, today morning, we are seeing a WTI crude oil below 100 and Brent crude oil uh, below 103 will, bre uh, will bre uh, bring some relief uh, to the economy stocks. Now, Russian and Ukrainian officials gave their most upbeat assessment on Sunday of progress in uh, talks to end the conflict. With some delegates staying, draft agreements could reach within a days. But just now we heard some large big explosion in kiev and it looks like some crude missiles have already struck there so these kind of volatilities would be there for coming days on the currency fronts a dollar had been mixed broadly uh, had been mixed but broadly strong against the major currencies uh, what we are seeing there is some uh, dollar buying happening against the emerging market currencies also now what what i've seen and observed in last two days that the Yuan fixing had been higher than the most of the consensus. It had been almost uh, 100 basis higher uh, than the where the consensus fixing were. Uh, this is pulling the dollar against the other Asian currencies also. India's CPI for the month of January eased to 6.07% against uh, expectations of below 6% in the broad market uh, and the previous month 601. Now, this is the second time uh, it has uh, gone higher than the RBI's target band. It doesn't mean much for the RBI because it's lots of uh, coming from a very volatile uh, things. This is expected to inch further uh, as impact of uh, rising global crude oil prices is adjusted in local prices in days to come. Uh, India's WPA also came higher at 13% plus, where the expectations were 12% plus. Uh, higher input prices might eventually be passed on to retail uh, and that might result into a higher CPI. Uh, I'm expecting uh, uh, RBI action in second half of this uh, calendar year on the rate side. Now, coming back to volatility in base metals, uh, to, to uh, basically limit the volatility, LME has fixed 15% daily limits on price moves across the base metals. Uh, this is a significant move. Now, the sizable fall of nearly 30% in global crude prices might be positive for INA. Uh, although overall dollar strength and the expected monetary tightening by the Fed is uh, preventing a big rally in INR. Uh, what we are seeing that there is a slowing down of FI selling happening in the stock. So uh, this could also support uh, some sense INR. They might come back to India because uh, the markets might be, for them, market might be entering into a value zone. Uh, USD yields moved to two and a half years high uh, on expectations of faster pace of Fed hikes. These indications will be drawn for FMC meet, uh, which is scheduled on this Wednesday. The outcome is scheduled on the, this Wednesday. Uh, Two-year, 10-year, and 30-year uh, year yields are dealing at 1.85, 2.15, and 2.47% respectively. This is a major uh, 2025 basis move up uh, in last couple of days. Now, coming back to precious metal, gold, gold has fallen by 2.5% lower than the last Friday close, and now currently dealing at 19.42 per ounce. Uh, 1920 to 1960, assumed to be a, a value zone for gold. There could be some buying traction happening around these levels. I am, uh, India 10-year GSEC yield closed unchanged at 6.85, and I think now it's expected to move higher uh, 
towards a 7% range uh, on account of higher CPI inflation and higher US yields. That's all from us today. Thank you. Okay, uh, that was wonderful, Pankaj. Uh, guys, do note that even if oil prices, uh, crude oil or Brent oil prices come down, there are a lot of factors which are still in influencing the inflation. So markets are in uh, for a rough ride over the period of time. And to talk about these things, we are coming up with a monthly outlook wherein we, we uh, throw some light on much deeper aspects, much uh, bigger themes and trends of the financial markets coming uh, over a period of time as against uh, the daily views that we share with our uh, Alvis Market Mornings. So tune in for uh, the monthly uh, outlook session. Uh, we'll be releasing it soon. That's it for the time being. Thank you guys so much.